Hello everyone, welcome back to the American Icarus channel where we talk about cryptocurrency and occasionally other things. Today, I want to show you guys just how advantageous it is to trade and do DeFi and to swap tokens 100% gas free on the Moonswap DEX on the Conflux network. I'm going to show you the experience of doing it that way compared to like a traditional Ethereum yield farming type thing. And I'm going to show exactly the advantages of being able to consistently do transactions and not have to worry about those fees. Okay, so let's take a look at this. But before we do, remember, I am not a financial advisor. I am not a member of the Moonswap team. I'm just a dude that loves cryptocurrency and really likes this Moonswap project. Okay, let's take that look. Okay, guys, so just so y'all know, Moonswap is not the only app or site that I am currently doing yield farming on. I'm also still doing some yield farming on the Ethereum network. And one pool that I'm still in is this BNSD Uni pool on the BNSD site. So I have a few days worth of rewards right here. Now, whenever you do yield farming, this is a process that you always have to do. So I just wanna show real quick, when I claim this one on the Ethereum network, I am about to pay $6.89 just to claim the rewards that I've been farming. And that's why I've been farming for a few days without claiming because I didn't want this reward, or I didn't want this gas fee to get in the way of my earnings. So I'm gonna confirm there. Okay, so the transaction confirmed. I'm going to just trade my um, BNSD right now for uni tokens and profit off of my yield. Okay, and to do this, and I always go fast, I have to pay another $3.52. So it was $6 and something, and then $3.52. So $10 in order to farm my yield and get it, get it into an asset I want to hold, if I don't want to hold the farmed asset. So if I wanted to restake this BNSD, which I have done many times, it would have been two more transactions. And guys, the gas fees that we just saw are actually very good. When this network gets congested and when there's a lot of activity in ETH, those gas fees go through the roof. And if we're here in crypto, we all think the market's going to get much more mainstream and mass adopted in the future. So these network fees are only going up, not down. And what a lot of people don't realize about the sharding with Ethereum 2.0 is its main and purpose is going to be to increase the network speed and get rid of some of these really long transaction times. But from what I've been told, I don't know how much it's going to impact the gas fees. I think the gas fees are still going to be exactly what they are today. Now guys, I want to contrast what I just showed you with yield farming here on Moonswap. So over here on Moonswap, we are still using Ethereum assets, okay? I have my moon staked with ETH, and this C ETH is the exact same price properties as the um, as regular ETH, it's just on the Conflux network on a smart contract as an ERC-77 instead of an ERC-20. Now, what you just saw on BNSD was like four or five days worth of farming that I had to do in order for my profits to not get taken away from those gas fees. So now let's contrast with what we're looking here with Sea uh, Moon. Four hours worth of earnings and it's only 12 Moon. And I say only because right now the price of Moon is around 65 cents or so. So what we're looking at here is roughly eight dollars in value okay so with eight dollars in value if i was farming this on the ethereum network there's no way i could harvest it because the the ethereum gas prices would literally take 
the all of the value away so it would not be worth it i would have to continue farming before i could mitigate that gas and take my yield okay but aside from just harvesting it what if i wanted to restake it and get that compound math that would be three more ethereum transactions so that six or seven dollars in value that this represents would literally you'd be negative you would be losing money if you wanted to farm and restake six hours in um if you were on the ethereum network but here um on conflux on moonswap i'm gonna go ahead and not only harvest but i'm also going to restake <clears throat> So I'm gonna confirm the transaction with zero gas fees. Then I'm gonna to go to the exchange. <clears throat> Once I'm here at the exchange, I'm going to take the almost 13 moon that I just harvested and I'm going to split it up into ETH so that I can provide liquidity. So I'm going from 12.9 moon. So let's do 6.3. All right, that'll pretty much give me equal parts, moon and ETH. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna confirm it. And again, guys, on the Ethereum network, the gas fee would be more than the value of the coins I'm working with. But by being able to do this without fees, I'm actually able to restake a very small amount from a very quick window of time. And over the course of a year, if I do this consistently, I will be very much taking advantage of compound math, more so than an Ethereum farmer, because he would have to wait longer before he could yield and restake due to those gas fees. All right, so it looks like the swap has occurred, guys. So I'm gonna go back to the Moonswap app here, and I just go back to the homepage always, and I hit the Get MLP button. That makes providing the liquidity super easy. So I wanna restake all of those Moon, along with the ETH that I just traded it for, and I'm gonna hit Supply. Confirm Supply. Again, it happens with no gas fees. So even though it was only six or seven dollars worth of coin value, I'm able to harvest um, resupply liquidity and restake on the website. Now that I've provided that liquidity, I've got those additional liquidity tokens. So I'm going to go back here to the home page. I'm going to farm. And I'm going to hit this little plus sign right next to the unstake. So I'm going to hit that. And I got 0.27 um, MLPs, right? So I'm going to restake all of that. So I have now added to my staked amount of MLPs, which means I'm going to incrementally get a larger reward. And if I continue to do this, I'm going to take advantage of that compound math effect and hopefully have a really good experience yielding these moon coins here on the Conflux Network with MoonSwap. Okay guys, well after watching that quick comparison, I hope that you can see why I'm so excited about MoonSwap and why as soon as I hit my reward targets on some of those other Ethereum network pools, I'm likely gonna do all of my yield farming on Conflux from this, this point going forward. There is just no sense in not taking advantage of that quick staking and that zero gas environment. So guys, give MoonSwap a check. It is the very first DEX on Conflux, and it is layer two, not in beta phase. It's live, you can start making money there today if you want. And also if you want, you can hit subscribe, you can like the video, and maybe you can show up on the next one.